So I was for five years traveling to India for different reasons. And every year with the books uh, of the Novska, and every year thinking that maybe this year I will be able to, uh, in that or another way, to get closer to the place where she was, where she died. She died in Mysore. So in 2012, it finally happened that I could go there and try to uh, look for the missionary where she was living in last couple of weeks of her life, uh, asking, asking, asking people, nobody knows, nobody knew about her. So finally, somebody told me that uh, if you really want to know something about her, not necessarily to find uh, her last destination, the place of where she was grieved, you have to go to Belakupe, which is the Tibetan uh, village, or now is a couple of villages, uh, where, as the legend says, she was taken, her body was taken after she died from Mysore and where she was graved by her uh, Tibetan uh, friends. So we went there not knowing that this is a restricted area and we have to have a special permission from the India government. Uh, the driver didn't want to go. So we have to pay under the table and <laughs> hope to bribe him. Uh, and we didn't know because we were not explained that area is so restricted that uh, you're risking, we're risking uh, five years of, of the prison. As you know, later on, when we left, when we are leaving, they shown us the, uh, 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 what was written in the, in the, at the entrance to the, to the village. So, we spent all the day driving there and back, there and back. I stopped everyone whom I could meet on the street, next to the Golden Temple, on the sides where the stupas uh, uh, were built. Nobody knew. And it was already evening, the driver was panicking, you know, lamenting or shouting. We pretend that we don't understand what he wants and why he wants us to leave. And on our way back, I've seen that there is sort of the service on the left side of the road. Uh, Tibetan typical religious service. So. I said to the driver, stop, stop, stop here for only for one moment. I will do some pictures of this relay, of this gathering in here. But on the other side of the village, of the, of the road, there was a sort of the office. And I thought, a last chance. I went to this office. I asked the lady, Vanda Dinoska, maybe it was 200 times already when I mentioned it. Vanda Dinoska, you know, she was dead and dead and dead. And she said, uh, no, I don't know nothing, but this gentleman can know something. He is the officer, he is VIP here. And it was the guy who was uh, doing a lot of administrative work. Very busy, very temperamental, you know, shouting at somebody. So I went to him, Vanda uh, Dinovska, Uma Devi, Tenzin Chodon, my mantra. He said, yeah, I know about her. How? 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 Impossible! <laughs> you know. Uh, he is the child of two, uh, of, the, of the man and woman whom Wanda Denoska personally carried in her hands when she was bringing orphans from Tibet to this, uh, to this settlement. So, in his family, they treat her as the salvator. They treat her as, as a goddess, somebody who saved the life of, of, the, of his parents. And he took me to the place. And the place was the most unexpected and magic place I could imagine. Not next to the temple, not in the common graveyard, 
of others. It was on the hill in the middle of the beautifully plucked earth and it looks like the eastern territories where she was born. Her stupa and Dalai Lama stupa are next to each other. And beautifully kept, very clean. When we are coming there, the last several hundred meters, we have to walk through the fields, field road. When we came here, the just lady with her children were cleaning the, the grave and putting incenses and so on. And that I was told later that they do several times in week. So they're taking care. Uh, wind in the trees, you know. Wind in Polish is wiatr. And wiat, etymology of wiat, is soul. And the wind was playing incredible music with these flags, you know, Lamaistic Tibetan flags. So I felt that and the sun, the very red sun, was just getting down and down and down. And the black birds flying, you know, through this beautiful, purple, fireful, like colors. Oh, it was a mystical moment, absolutely mystical. <laughs>